Hi everyone, so since it's the bank holiday weekend, I'm going to make the most of it and I'm doing some more DIY. And if you didn't know, the other week I made my own DIY decking. I'll leave the video right here and it was so much fun to do. It did take a while, some planning, but it's just great just knowing that we did it ourselves and we didn't pay an extortionate amount for somebody to do it and we learned a trick to learn for life. So firstly we're going to clean it and then we're going to stain it to the colour that we want. And once we're done, I've got a feeling we'll want to do the fencing and the shed. So uh, this is how it goes. So before I stain my decking I want to make sure it's definitely clean. I know it's only a month old but I don't want any debris on it. But this is also why I'm doing a homemade solution because it's not that dirty. So I've got four litres of hot water, half a cup of washing up liquid and half a cup of bleach. And I'm scrubbing it clean with a long brush with a broom at the end just so it's much quicker and it gives it time to dry before I want to stain it. And to make sure all the suds are gone I gave it a really good hose down. So as you can see, the decking is all dry now and we're ready to do the staining. And I've got some Marigold Extra Universal gloves because I keep cutting my fingers and I should really wear gloves a lot more often, so that's what I'm going to do. And apparently these are perfect for DIY things, so perfect for me. So I've been to my local hardware store and I've got this cool little applier pad thing. So I'm going to pour my Ron Seal into this tray as well, so the tin is less likely to be contaminated. So it's quite a dark colour and I'm going to put some gloves on now before it's too late. I love how there's 60 in this box and you can just throw them away when you're done. So it's well worth the money. Just going to cover my Fitbit. And I'm going to give it a really good stir. And we need to apply it liberally in small sections, being careful not to overlap any of the boards. I don't want it dry, irregular and look all patchy. I am finding it really useful to have a selection of tools to apply it because the pad doesn't quite get into all of the grooves, yet the brush is great for that. Then once you've waited a minimum of four hours for it to dry and it's not forecast to rain again, you can start with your second coat. But bear in mind you really are better off painting in the awkward places and painting towards where you've got easy access. So stupidly I didn't start in the back corner near the wall, but I'm doing it this time so I'm not walking all over my paintwork and starting at the back. So that's another project completed and it's meant to last twice as long as standard decking stain. It's meant to be slip resistant and weather resistant and apparently rainproof in 90 minutes and shouldn't fade. So we'll see over time, but hopefully I don't have to do this for quite a while. And if anyone's got any tips on what we should stain the shed and fencing with now, let me know below. I'm all ears. I just don't know whether to use the same colour, whether it would blend in too much or just have a contrasting one. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Bye!